Let's play! As you crisscross them over, put one string under the bridge, then loop, swoop, and pull. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Hi! It's me, Ant! Have a look what I made. <laughs> it's a shoe made out of a tissue box. <laughs> I call it a tish shoe box. <laughs> I made it for my niece, Grace, who's just learning to tie her shoelaces. How are you going with your shoelace tying? <laughs> Can be really tricky and frustrating at first. This way, Grace won't get her knee in the way when she's trying to tie her bow. <laughs> Hey, would you like to make one of these? I can show you how. First, you'll need an old tissue box. <laughs> then, you'll need some wool like I have, or a long piece of string, or maybe even a shoelace. Then, you'll need to punch some holes in the top of the tissue box. Now, I have a hole punch for that, but you could use a, a pencil to push holes in the top of the box. First, you'll need to punch eight holes. One, two, three, four. <laughs> and then four on the opposite side. One, two, three, <laughs> four. There. Next, you need to put the string or laces or wool like I have through the loops. One, two, pull them through. Like that. And then crisscross them in the middle. Crossing over. One, two, three. And when you get to the last hole, try to make sure that the laces are fairly even. This will make tying the shoelaces even easier. All right. There. Great. You know, tying shoelaces can be a little tricky. But I remember a saying that I used to use. First you crisscross them over, put one string under the bridge, loop, swoop, and pull. Have a look. Crisscross them over, put one string under the bridge, loop, swoop, <laughs> and pull. Oops. <laughs> I think I swooped and pulled a little too hard. <laughs> You know, if you're trying something and it doesn't work, that's okay. It's really something to celebrate because you tried and trying is the best thing. <laughs> Just give it a go. First you crisscross them over, put one string under the bridge, loop, swoop, and pull. <laughs> there one perfectly tied shoe box. <laughs> now it's time to decorate. I'm gonna use these stickers. You could use markers or maybe even some paint. And one there. And since this is for my niece Grace, I'm going to stick a big G on the front. Wow, look at that. I think Grace is going to love it. You know, a tissue box helped me practice tying my shoelaces when I was younger. Maybe you can give it a go too. I'll see you next time. Bye.